The difference of two positive numbers is seven, and the sum of their squares is 85. Find the two numbers. We will let the variable x equal one positive number, and we'll let the variable y equal another positive number. We are given the difference of two positive numbers is seven, which we can express using the equation x minus y equals seven. We are also given the sum of their squares is 85, which we can express using the equation x squared plus y squared equals 85. We are looking for the values of x and y that satisfy both equations, and therefore we solve this as a system of equations. Let's use the method of substitution in order to solve the system of equations. Let's solve the first equation for x. If we are given the equation x minus y equals seven, to solve the equation for x, we add y to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative y plus y is zero, giving us the equation x equals seven plus y. So now we know the equation x minus y equals seven is equivalent to the equation x equals seven plus y. And since the equation is now solved for x, we can substitute seven plus y for x in the second equation. So performing this substitution for x in the second equation, we get the quantity seven plus y squared. Again, by substituting seven plus y for x, and then we have plus y squared equals 85. Notice now we have an equation that only contains one variable. So the next step, we simplify the left side by first squaring the quantity seven plus y. To multiply the two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. Seven times seven is 49, plus seven times y is seven y, plus y times seven is also seven y, plus y times y, which is y squared, and then we still have this plus y squared equals 85. Let's combine the like terms on the left side and also write the terms in descending order. Starting with the y squared terms, y squared plus y squared, or one y squared plus one y squared is two y squared. Seven y plus seven y is 14 y, giving us plus 14 y. And then we have plus 49 equals 85. Notice how we do have a quadratic equation. Let's set it equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. To set the equation equal to zero, we subtract 85 on both sides. Simplifying, we have two y squared plus 14 y. 49 minus 85 equals negative 36, and this is now equal to zero. Let's see if we can solve this equation by factoring. The first step is to factor out the greatest common factor of two. We factor out two, we're left with y squared plus seven y minus 18 equals zero. And now if the trinomial inside the parentheses factors, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of y squared are y and y. And now we're looking for the factors of negative 18 that add to positive seven, which are positive nine and negative two, giving us one binomial factor of y plus nine and another binomial factor of y minus two. This product is equal to zero when y plus nine equals zero or when y minus two equals zero. Solving these two equations for y, here we subtract nine on both sides, giving us y equals negative nine. Here we add two to both sides, giving us y equals two. But notice how we were told that the two numbers are positive and therefore we can eliminate the solution of y equals negative nine. We now know that y is equal to positive two and we know x is equal to seven plus y. And since y is equal to positive two, we know x equals seven plus two, or x equals nine. So now we know the two positive numbers are two and nine. I hope you found this helpful.